I did not come to play with you hoes. I came to slay, bitch. Oh, yes, you best to believe it. I always slay. You know I don't play. to do changes are unless first is gonna catch you out and they're gonna take your scholarship and you're gonna be in trouble because the students who did that in my first year and they got caught and they got kicked out of university so my advice to you is do everything legally because they will catch you out hey what's up my boobies what it do boobies I had such a long day. I'm really, really exhausted. But you know what? I really gotta make this video because a lot of like first year students were really requesting this video, and a lot of like people have been texting me, DMing me, and just really, 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 really asking me about this. So I'm gonna make this video for them. So I also share this video if you know anybody who might need help. Please, 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 just make sure that they get to this video because. we need yeah so this is about nest first everything you need to know about nest first and it's obviously for the first two students by the way um i'm studying at the university of the western cape and i'm doing my final year in biotechnology based in biotechnology and bachelor of science that is and yeah so that is so nest first nest first is like a bursary well it's a loan but then if you're doing good it turns into a bursary which you don't have to pay so if you're a first time like a first year student you're going to be a first year student like you like you 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 got accepted into a school and you applied for this first so if you meet the threshold then you have nothing to worry about if you meet all the requirements you have and you've done everything accurately and legally like you didn't do anything like whereby you send ama results Waga go quack, like I'm a pay sleep, waga go quack, whereby you live with your parents, then you have nothing to worry about. You can just explain this whole thing properly. So, basic thing is, you know, what the requirement is, you have to be accepted into a college or university. If you are accepted, fine. And if I think the threshold is the total annual payment in your family has to be 350 rand or less so if your parents or guidance earn less than 350,000 rand a year or less then you can apply for nest first and you're gonna be able to be to get nest first but if your parents or little guardians get more than that you're not gonna be able to get nest first because your your family has more than the threshold that is needed and if you live with your parents and you decide to send the pay slips of your grandma or your uncle because they earn less money than your parents and you know that that's not that's not what you're supposed to do changes are unless first is going to catch you out and they're going to take your scholarship and you're going to be in trouble because the students who did that in my first year and they got caught and they got kicked out of university so my advice to you is do everything legally because they will catch you out okay so now if you accept it into a college and you miss the, the the amount of the family income that is 350 rand or less for the whole family income per year then you have nothing to worry about so obviously you're gonna apply then once you finish your application and you've sent the pay slips and your id and your um affidavit everything that is needed then the application becomes successful right and then now you wait for acceptance that you have been like you 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 got nest first right okay so while you're waiting it takes for some people it takes like a lot of time for nest first to approve them like because i know someone okay i got approved early i got approved in february right and then i know someone who got approved in march and then i got i know someone who got approved in june like like nest first sometimes it it is very 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 crazy depending on the school that you're busy with like nest first so basically nest first sends money to the school and then the school is the one that will clear you so some schools are slower than others some schools are faster than others so what i'm going to advise you is unless you want to accept it to your college university you're going to be able to they're going to be ask you for your registration fee for you to register right do not pay that money 
if your university or college asks you for a registration fee and you know for a fact that you, you applied for NESFAS and you know that you did all the requirements well, do not pay that money because if you pay that money, chances are NESFAS will not pay the university that money or even if NESFAS pays the university that money, you will not get the money back, right? So as I said, NESFAS is low for some other students. If they say register and your NESFAS has not been approved yet, send an email to your university saying that you applied for NESFAS, but you have not been approved yet. It and you don't have money to pay for registration so ask them to clear you clear the money that you need to pay because Netflix is going to pay you when they clear your 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 application right do not pay any money to the university i repeat do not pay do not pay any money to your university right so after after you get your registration things when you email the university that you are nesfus you're going to be nesfus funded they're going to clear you and you're going to be able to register properly right then please don't pay any money for registration just email your university then for accommodation my advice to you is take an off camp take an accommodation that is not at home right apply for a for for race or apply for of campus accommodation that is nest first accredited i stay at a campus and it's a student house that is outside campus and it is nest first accredited right so now if if it is a dress name it's fine you don't you just email the people go to to rest life and then they're gonna help you move in and you don't have to pay anything if it's an off-campus accommodation. You're gonna have to contact the landlord and tell them that you wanna move in. Then you're gonna have to pay a deposit. Most of the time, the deposit is refundable, whereby the deposit is just for for you to secure the place, right? And then you probably get it at the end of the year if you didn't break anything in the house. So basically, your and then you tell your your landlord that you are Nesfas funded and tell them that Nesfas is going to pay for your accommodation so you can stay there, right? Don't pay any other money to, to a landlord that is above the money that Nesfas don't that that is uh, don't pay other money that other than the deposits because Nesfas is going to pay that money if that accommodation is not necessarily accredited do not stay in it because you're gonna have to pay that money from your own pocket right yeah um nest first pays twice a year for your accommodation so it's gonna pay in june and in december right your landlord will know that if the place is nest first accredited and then um if you want to stay at home, you can always apply for transport money whereby they, 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 they send you transport money to get from home to school every single day. But I wouldn't advise on that because it's not very really convenient to be a university student and stay at home. So rather, no matter how far you stay from home, there's people who stay literally close to campus but still choose to stay at, an, at a a race or of campus accommodations but other than staying at home staying at home is not ideal and then but if i don't stay at home you can always apply for that transport thing where they send you transport money and um i think the highest amount of money that you know that nesfas can pay for accommodation is 3700 rand so getting accommodation that can pay 3700 rand or less if you get an organization that pays like 4,000 Rand and it's Nesfas accredited, Nesfas is going to pay 2,700 Rand and then you're going to have to pay the 200 Rand per month from your own pocket, right? And then, um, what else? And then the, the stipend, if you're staying at home, I think they give you 500 Rand a month, like as like, um, pocket money. But if you stay at, in like, if you stay away from home, like it's like, of campus accommodation or on campus accommodation they pay you 1500 rent per month which you use for food and pocket money so 1000 rent for food and 500 rent for pocket money so they give you one point one thousand rent per month for 10 months and then your first payment in your first payment they're gonna pay you 6700 rent from that 6700 rent 5200 rent is for your textbooks 
and then 1500 rand is for your food and your pocket money and together it gives you 6700 rand and then since we a lot of festivals are doing online learning instead of giving the five giving them the 5000 rand 200 rand they just give them a laptop instead of giving them the 5200 rand because it's online right that's what they did with first years of last year but when i did my first year i got my 6000 and 6700 rand and i still got a laptop but last year they just got a laptop and not the 5200 rand so it uh, again it depends on the university some universities they get both allowing both the laptop and the 5200 rand some university they only get a laptop and some they only get 5200 rand so it depends on where you are studying and yeah so that's that's just the whole breakdown of nesfus and how it goes please don't send any money to the university don't send any money to your accommodation unless it's for deposits and don't send any money to anyone regarding like your thing nesfus is going to cover everything they cover your accommodation they cover your tuition they cover your fees they cover your food and they give you pocket money so yeah and this first is a loan but if you do good it turns into a bursary that you don't have to pay back and if you fail maybe one of the years next is still going to be able to find you for the following year because i have a friend who failed his first year all his subjects but they still funded him to repeat the year so they, they can own they can find you to fail once but not twice so if you fail twice they're gonna cut you off but if you fail once then they're gonna give you another chance but like don't 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 out for failing because you know that you're gonna get another chance no do your best because now if you obviously fail you're probably gonna have to pay that money back even if they're gonna give you another chance so that's the whole next first thing um i hope i answered all your questions i hope everything was good and clear and crystal if you have questions feel free to text me feel free to dm me feel free to leave a comment my instagram is 10 by underscore m if you need my number i can give it to you anything that you want if you're studying in cape town and whether you're studying at cpu T U W C U C T and you don't know anything about Cape Town, text me, I will be there. I'll come help you, I'll show you around, um, I'll help you register, I will help you with your nest first, anything that you could possibly want and need. I am here for you. Feel free, talk, don't keep quiet, and yeah. I have a lot of other students that I'm helping, so trust me, I am here for you. Yeah. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to my channel. There's going to be more, um, more, more of like university lifestyle type of situations. So if you first year, second or third year, this is where you need to be. Subscribe to my channel and peace.